All right, so today I'm gonna to go over the smart motion sensor, um, how to install and set it up. So looking at the smart sensor, uh, the first thing right out of the box is you're gonna get started on the back here. Um, you're gonna remove this uh, screw right here to get started. So that's gonna be the first step because we're gonna to wanna to get to the batteries and we're gonna remove the plastic off the batteries. So that's gonna be the first step of setting up the GE smart motion sensor. All right, so I went ahead and removed the screw right here. We're gonna pop this piece off, and you're gonna see there's two batteries on the back. Uh, first thing that you're gonna raise on the back is you're gonna to wanna to pop them out real quick. And on the two metal pieces, there's gonna be some plastic. You're gonna to wanna to remove those. I've already done that on here. But something I'll show you is right here, you'll see there's a little USB port. What's nice about that is you actually have the ability to uh, plug it in by the USB port to give it power, or you can put the batteries in it. So for us to start, we're gonna do the batteries. Um, that's how I'm gonna set it up. So I'm gonna put those batteries back in there and put it on this side. Hopefully I did that right. And then I'm gonna click this top button right here on the top um, just to make sure that it has power. So everything's working right, we got power. I'm gonna put the back plate on and show you how to uh, sync it up. All right, so now for the Z-Wave network, how you're gonna do that is you are going to use your SmartThings hub or whatever your Z-Wave device hub is gonna be. And you're gonna go through the steps um, of connecting it with the hub that you wanna connect it with. And it's gonna be as simple as just pressing this button on the top. Um, and then you'll see it syncing with your device. Um, if, if it doesn't sync, then you'll probably need to reset it. But that's gonna be as simple as it's gonna be. I didn't go over this with you, but there's also a back plate right here as well. Um, that's just gonna go right into there. And what this will allow is if you wanted to set this up against a wall or up high, you can now do that um, with these back here. And then they give you two screws as well. You'd put those in right there, and then you'd be able to use, utilize it. So that's my walkthrough of the smart motion sensor. If there's anything I didn't go over, please ask me. Uh, but that's, that, that's, it's a pretty simple device to set up. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And that's it from the Smart Home Helper. Thank you.